So now the attention turns to the final runner in this heat, Japan's Tomohiro Kawaguchi. And talk about pressure. He has to win this heat to keep Japan alive in this competition. And if he loses, then the three points would go to Ian Dory and put Team USA back on top with seven points ahead of Europe with five. So a lot riding on this run. Ian Dory's time was 426 through Area 51. Kawaguchi needs to beat that or finish to keep Japan's hopes alive. And don't forget last year, Team Japan came alive on stage three. They had two finishers. They need that kind of comeback right now. And Kawaguchi's onto the doorknobs. Remember, he's 5'10", and his longer reach should help him here. And look how easily he's making it through this obstacle, looking strong. Oh! And he is out. And just like that, Japan's hopes of winning are done. He looks strong early, but watch his left hand come off. I think he may have forgotten that the last two doorknobs spin, and it's sayonara, Team Japan. Right now, he's standing by with Christine. Tomo, you guys had a disappointing showing last year. I know you guys came back this year with much higher expectations. How disappointing is this? I might have missed my chance, but there are still opportunities for Team Japan to show our skill. We might not be able to win, but we can still perform well. All right, Tomo, I like that mentality. Thank you. Thank you. Guys.